right y'all welcome back to the channel so here is Riker 1 the Nighthawk and as of so far you see what I've done I've done the windshield I've done the handbars I've done the saddlebag I've got two more boxes so this is another unbox and another really quick install what I'm really loving about this can this can am this Riker is that everything that I've done so far has been very simple to put in it's literally just putting in bolts so far at this point so anyway let's go on ahead let's get to the unbox all right so can you guys tell through the packaging what this is if i can uh, get a better As you can see, this is the max mount. And so obviously, let's check the next box and let's see what's in here. You may not be able to tell from right here. But we've also got the secondary seat. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a dragonfly tail because that's kind of what it reminds me of. So I've got the max mount, I'm gonna mount that, and I've got the extra seat. So let's get into the install. All right, y'all. So as far as the max mount, it's not even really an install. Really, this, this is one of the simplest installs ever. All you have to do is take your max mount. You're gonna basically slide it, and it's gonna you're gonna see like the um, kind of how it slots in. You're gonna line it up to these holes, and you're literally gonna bolt it in. And I just did this with my hand. I use a T30 uh, tip again, just about everything is a T30 or a T15. And I slid it down and bolted it up. Now the only thing that I really had to do was take off this other side piece. And if you have a saddlebag, which I did, I had to take it apart, put this on, and now I get to put the saddlebag back on. But literally, that was it. Four bolts and line it up with the holes. If you still had your little wing back here, you're gonna take that off but that just pulls off. It's on there nice and slug, snug, hand tight. I mean, that's an easy install right there. All right, so I was able to put my saddlebag um, mount back on. One thing that I really love about these Can-Am products is that when you take off some of those plastic pieces, you get to replace it with a nice, strong, sturdy metal piece. And I really just like that look. I like that finish. I mean, it looks dope as hell. So I think I'm ready to put on my uh, my dragon tail and uh, let's see how that looks and let's see what that installs like. All right, y'all. So with getting the seat, that seat right there, if you look down and I've already put on the max mount, you've got two holes right here. You obviously you have two on the other side. That's like a support, that's where a support beam is supposed to go. That's what this is. So you're gonna install this this way, this being on the bottom, or you can look at it with this being going towards the back. You're gonna sit that under there and you're gonna use the silver screws that they give you and tighten that down. So it was definitely a pain in the ass to get those in there. You kinda had to line up that plate, be able to work one of the bolts in, get it kinda secured just enough so that you can go to the other side and you know, kind of work it and one at a time until you can finally get it all in there and tighten. So I got that support beam on. I think now I'm gonna move towards getting the pegs on and then the final part is getting the actual seat on. So let's try to work on the pegs next. So you have two different types of pegs. If you go to your right side and look at this big hole here, you can tell by the shape, you know, it's just, you just got a hole and a little screw right there. If we walk over to the other side, which I already figured out how this would fit in there. I'm not gonna take this one out, but it's actually shaped a little bit different because there's a little notch on this peg. There's a notch that I've already got fitted in there. And it was kind of troublesome to get in there. You'll also notice there's some bolts here at the top. It's gonna kind of line up with these holes here. I'm sorry, my camera. But you have some holes here at the top that line up with these holes down here. And uh, you really just gotta kind of work it and fit it how it best fits. So again, on the driver's side, 
I'll just say on the right side. So you see how the holes are fitted here. So basically I've got two holes up top there. And you see, I wanna fit it like so. And it slides in perfect. And I kinda, and I can then bolt on, bolt it on how I need to. So that's what we're gonna work on now. So you do get four of these little black bolts um, that are marked with the little blue uh, paint. And they do fit, it's kind of hard to get it, but you have a bolt there and you have a bolt there. So once you finally get your pegs fitted, uh, obviously start one bolt at a time, get one of the bolts fixed, uh, situated in there, then get the other one done. And that is the, one of the secondary foot pegs and it's, it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, y'all, so I finally got the pegs in. Not bad, not bad, it looks pretty good. I really like it in that stance there. It just gives the seat a really nice, aggressive look. Um, I'm not a mechanic, so I really hope I explained this stuff well. Um, if not, just let me know how I did. There's a lot of bolts, a lot of small places. I'm not real, I'm not mechanical and I'm not technical. So I'm doing all this stuff on my own and I just hope you guys got something out of it. Um, just let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Uh, what I'm about to do now is actually put my saddle rack back on. I had to take it off like three times now. So before you put this, that saddle mount on, put your damn max mount on because you're gonna have to take off this piece and you're not gonna need that piece anymore because it's basically like right there and you just need to put your saddle rack on. So anyway, I'm about to put my saddle rack on and then I will finally put the seat on. I believe all it does is clip in. So that's really simple. I'm gonna put this back on and then uh, I'm gonna show you guys the, the final look. So yeah. All right, so we're coming up to the final step here. Uh, so as far as the seat goes, what I've seen so far, we're gonna see if this works or not. I'm not sure yet. But you see how it's angled and shaped. You see the shape here. I put the seat there. It looks like it, it, it sits pretty good right there. What I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna have to put the camera down, but I'm gonna pull, pull back, and uh, it should just maybe snap on, I think. So let's. Right, yeah, so all I had to do was pretty much bang it like that. And you have this push button, and you wanna make sure that you get it to the area where you can push it in and lock it down. So now, seat can't go anywhere Whew. so it turned out to be a little bit more work than i thought um it was a lot of screws a lot of taking on and off um but still a very simple job nothing to it um you just need a little patience a little time so for now that is it let me know how i did in the comment section below um like i said i'm a little mechanic so i did my best um and i hope i gave you all the information that you needed um, but just let me know in the comment section below and for now that's it. I'm about to go catch a ride before the rain So for now peace out